everyone and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. So it's that time of year again where we get a brand new calendar for the upcoming year from Kelly O'Gorman. Now she is an absolutely fantastic illustrator, incredibly, incredibly talented, very, very unique artwork. You can always tell it's a Kelly O'Gorman illustration when you see one without having to look because she just has this really personal style and um, it's really, really interesting and a lot of the themes and things that she includes are totally different to anything you've ever seen. So I really, really love her work. So as you can see, my copy is signed and when you buy your copy from her Etsy store, you can ask for her to sign it or personalise it for you, which is included in the price of the calendar and I think that's a really nice personal touch. So as you can see, we've got the monochrome details of some of the illustrations that are inside. We've also got a lovely greenish background. It's kind of like um, a racing green down to a teal. It's a, an ombre effect. It's a really, really nice colour and it is... Uh, ring bound from the top so it's a wall calendar that is supposed to sit against your wall open so you'll have two um, you'll have the top of the calendar and the bottom and I'll just demonstrate that in a minute so I'll just take a look if I can hopefully get the whole calendar on you'll see what I mean so the top is your illustration and then you've got your ring bind and then you've got your actual calendar itself so I'm going to show you first of all the layout of the calendar because you'll want to see um, you know where how much room you've got to put your appointments and things like that and then I'll just be showing you all of the individual illustrations so this is January but every single month is laid out exactly the same You've got really large squares to write your appointments and your diary dates in, which I really, really appreciate. I've had some wall calendars in the past that had teeny tiny spaces and it just really does not make sense, especially when you've got a big family like me and there's always something or another going off with everybody. Sometimes two or three things on the same day. You really need that space and that's what Kelly's provided. So it starts from a Monday, which is, I believe, the norm for the UK. I think in America you start your week on Sunday, but I have been caught out by that before when I had a US calendar. Um, I ended up going to an appointment on completely the wrong day because I assumed this side was Monday. Anyhow, it starts on a Monday and again, just really big spaces. You've also got some of the holidays of the world put in into the dates on um, they're just put in a gray font so it's not going to overtake the calendar you could write over them if you wanted I guess but it is nice just to have a few common dates put in there and that's for the whole world so we've got Burns Night for Scotland Martin Martin Luther King Day in the US Australia Day and you know several others then at the bottom you'll see that there is a little section for notes which again is really handy I had Kelly's um, calendar last year and that also included the same kind of thing at the bottom with the notes and I found it was really handy especially at the end of the year when you've got appointments to uh, put down for January but obviously you don't have January in that calendar so you can just put them all down here and again just maybe if you want to um, further explain some things that you've put on the calendar I don't know it's up to you it's just a ni it's just nice to have that option so that is how every single month is laid out now let's get on to the illustrations because that's the best bit so this is the first one for January. I'm going to attempt to get it all on screen, but it is quite long, so <laughs> it's not easy. But this one is lovely. They're all lovely. And hopefully you can see that the word January is actually in the illustration. And that's something I've literally just noticed this second. Um, it's really sort of entwined in the illustration. So um, we've got what looks like a raven and a wolf and... This could be some sort of fairy. She doesn't have wings or it could just be a woodland um, a woodland lady. I don't know. But she's absolutely gorgeous. I love the antler sort of head thing that she's got on. And uh, again at the bottom. There's so many different details in Kelly's work. It really does take a few good looks before you see things. Um, so we've got a snail at the bottom. And we've got a couple of little, look like goblins or some sort of odd creature we've got a cat and also another one of those details the tree here actually has an eye and a nose and it's looking at what's going on so oftentimes you'll actually be coloring kelly's illustrations before you realize that there are certain elements on the page it's kind of like a bit of a hide and seek so next up is february's illustration this one again absolutely gorgeous 
Um, one of my favourite animals is the whale, actually the orca whale, but this kind of looks more like, I guess, I don't know, like a blue whale or a humpback whale or something. I don't really know my whales, but I do love whales. Um, <laughs> they do scare me slightly, I will admit, because um, they're absolutely massive and just kind of thinking about something that is so, so big that a human can swim down its vein, it, it, it just kind of creeps me out a bit. But I do love whales and I don't think you care about me loving whales, you just want to see this illustration. So uh, we've got a love heart, obviously with it being February, it's Valentine's Day, so that's nice to tie in there. And then at the bottom you can see the word love has been um, just sort of roped in with different bits of the illustration. So you've got the L coming down from the frame, you've got the O of the mouse's tail, We've got the V, which looks like a net that this other mouse is holding. A tiny net trying to catch this whale. And then the E is the other mouse, mouse's tail. So, yeah, just so, so original. And I just I just love it. Uh, next up is March. So, again, we've got the word of the... Uh, we've got the month written inside the illustration. And this has got a hair, obviously, March hair. And again, we've got that lovely lady from the first illustration. I'm guessing it's her. She looks kind of the same, um, but it could be different. You could, it's just totally up to you how you colour it, of course. Um, yeah, so it's really, really simple, this one, to be honest. It is just that kind of springtime feel, very fresh. Um, lots of little bouquets of flowers and obviously that giant hair. Next is April. So April, obviously, is Easter month. And we have the big Easter egg with the, oh my goodness. So I literally just dropped something very special that I'm supposed to be showing you in a moment, but don't worry, they're fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is why I don't like cutting things out of my videos, because I think it just shows you what an absolute klutz I am. Um, yes, so we've got the Easter egg, we've got the two little birds um, looking over their little egg that's just about to hatch. So they're watching over it. We've got an owl at the top, as you can see. A few more Easter eggs and some blooms around there. And then at the bottom, if I turn this round, it might be easier for you to see. It's actually a bunny with really long ears and fluffy fur. Really, really sweet. Next is May, which is my birth month. So I'm always interested to see what is on May and I am not disappointed. I absolutely love the whole steampunk aesthetic and this is just fantastic, especially done in Kelly style because I, I just love her work. So you can see we've got the big steampunk hat. It's got all the cogs on it and the metallics and the metal work. Um, what else? We have a metallic bird and a swan on this side. We've got some sort of weird robot snail as well. Um, and then obviously the kind of Victorian garb just going on down here, what you would expect from that period. And I really, really love the haircut as well, because oftentimes in colouring books, every single woman has got beautiful flowing curls or, you know, gorgeous, silky, smooth, long hair. And I do love to see different hairstyles on girls, you know, quirky cuts and shaved heads and, and you know, just really, really funky, different things. So I do like this one uh, for lots of different reasons. Next is June. So this one's really kind of funny, actually. It's a fun illustration. So you can see at the bottom that uh, this is kind of like a slice of the ground. So you can see underneath that we have these little goblin kind of creatures uh, underground. And they're all kind of different. So one looks almost like a fly. Another is a snail. Then we've got the kind of goblin. I don't know what they are. They're just some amalgamation of, of creatures, I guess. Goblin fairies or something. Uh, but they do look very, very mischievous. And this one here is pointing towards her lips as if to say, be quiet. And uh, you can see that the human is reaching for some of the uh, fruit that they have placed on top of this tree trunk and I I don't really know what's going to happen but I can imagine it's some sort of trap so I can see all of this kind of falling through or you know I don't know something funny happening anyway but it's just kind of fun it's a fun illustration this is July's illustration and you will have already seen this because uh, Kelly sent me a copy to colour not too long ago. I finished it and put it up on my social medias. So if you follow me, you will have seen it fully coloured and I'll put it up on the screen for you to see that now. So this is so, so exciting. Kelly sent me the illustration because she's appearing on TV on Monday, the 16th of December, which is next Monday. 
and she's taking her calendar onto the shopping channel Create and Craft. And she asked me to colour this page because she is taking a few people's coloured pages onto the programme with her to display and show what the calendar looks like when it's coloured. So I feel like over the moon that I'm going to be seeing one of my coloured pieces on TV. I, like, I can't really get my head around it. Really, really excited. So I've already set it to record. If you're in the UK, you can find it on the following channels. Um, it's going to be 3 p.m. UK time on Monday. Uh, if you are overseas in the US, there are also some US channels you can find it on, but you can also watch it online. So you can get it on your catch up service online and I'll put all of that on the screen. So yeah, really, really excited about that one. But as you can see, it's a gorgeous illustration. Um, it really stood out to me. I just love all of the underwater elements and the sort of regality of it, the royalty of it. I really love it. So next is August. Now for August, it's kind of almost a little bit like an autumnal um, illustration, but I guess you could brighten it up and make it more summery. I guess it's just going into that period of time at the end of August when you're moving on to the autumn months. But I really, really love it because it's got a slightly gothic twist to it. As you know, I love all that. So you've got that scary sort of baby bird that's fell out of the nest creature here. Uh, again, a couple of different animals with um, multiple eyes. And at the bottom, some really scary, creepy looking things uh, just poking out of the foliage. Especially down here, it's only got eyes and fingers. And then the trees at the side as well also have faces. And yeah, it's just a delightfully kind of spooky, creepy um, feel, feeling illustration, I guess. But, you know, it doesn't have to be. I suppose you could make these kind of cheeky and more lighthearted. I just immediately go for the, the macabre option. Next is September. So again, we've got the word written at the bottom. I really love how she's done this one because it's all little different mushrooms and fungus uh, or fungi. Um, growing from the letters the letters are growing from them so it really fits in with the illustration again it looks really autumnal you've got those trees back from the previous illustration and again it's just um, all about the fungi and the nature and it just really reminds me of going on woodland walks and just smelling in the, the wet leaf uh, smell and often going on trips with school it kind of reminds me of because we live in Nottingham so Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood we often used to go on trips to Sherwood Forest and that kind of I don't know it just gives me that kind of vibe so that's September now for October we really are getting into these scary kind of illustrations this is obviously a skull but it's made up of all kinds of different things that you have to really look for as most of Kelly's illustrations are so we've got two witches forming the eye sockets here and the scary tree in the centre. Uh, we have some creepy kind of zombie Frankenstein arms reaching up from the bottom here, the bottom jaw. We've got pumpkins at the bottom and then all the way at the top of the skull, we've got the cat, we've got another weird creature, we've got the moon, we've got a ghost, another ghost this side, bats and just all sorts of things going on. Probably some things I've missed as well. November is this, I believe, a fawn or something like that. I think that's what they call these creatures, a fawn. Um, and yeah, just again, beautiful, beautiful illustrations. These could be in, you know, some sort of art gallery, couldn't they? Just absolutely stunning. A um, couple of squirrels, the fawn. And the best bit about this for me is the fawn's antlers because they are absolutely just wrapped in these beautiful, tiny little flowers. And we've got birds sat atop of them. We've got some ferns as well and some more wildflowers. Just really, really like the focal point of this is those horns. I've just realised they're completely off the page. So there you go. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful antlers. And I really like the fact that she seems to be wearing a fuzzy jumper as well. Because I'm sure even animal-human hybrids get cold. For the final illustration for December, we have a beautiful angel. And you can see it's kind of one of these angels that sits on top of the tree and has the huge boofy dress. But inside that dress is, again, loads of different characters. And this is really, really sweet, actually. It's it's definitely nothing near the, the kind of creepy 
illustrations that we've seen previously. It's definitely the other side of the spectrum. So we've got um, a cute little elf, we've got a nutcracker, an angel, a really, really sweet little deer. Um, we've got a snowman that's uh, ice skating with a li little snowman, maybe his daughter, or I don't know. It's up to you how you want to do it, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous illustration. We've got baubles everywhere. So, so Christmassy. I can imagine this being just absolutely stunning when it's done, you know, doing some ice effects down here, having really shiny reds and greens and golds. Yeah. So that's the end of the calendar, but I think you can agree that it really, really is probably Kelly's best calendar yet. Yeah, I really love it. And um, it's so, so inexpensive as well. You know, Kelly must have taken so much time to create not only the physical illustrations for all 12 of these months, but thinking up the ideas for them as well. I can imagine that's sort of half the battle is thinking up the ideas and she's, she's just blown it out of the park. So for this calendar with free personalization, if you require, so if you want it signed or whatever, you can have that. It's just £12 on her Etsy store and I will be leaving a link in the description below if you want to go straight to it. Um, but £12, it's basically a quid, a pound for each illustration that she has taken so much time on. You know, not including the actual calendar itself, the physical product, which I must say is really, really good quality as usual. Very, very thick card. You've got a little hole at the top to put, um, you know, hook it onto the wall. Everything's been thought of and it's just a brilliant, brilliant price. I think they'd make fantastic Christmas presents. Um, and, you know, I just can't see anybody watching this video and not wanting one. <laughs> if you're anything like me and you love Kelly's work. So I did drop something on the floor earlier. And that is two calendars that Kelly has kindly sent to me to give away to two of you wonderful subscribers. Now, as I'm actually saying these words, I am just realising that I haven't actually announced the winner of my Masha's, uh, was it Masha's Christmas giveaway that I did? Now, there is good reason for that. If you do follow me on social media, um, you'll know already, and I'm not gonna get into it, but I've had a couple of deaths in the family which came really, really close together, and I've been so, so busy, um, you know, sorting things out and going, back and forth and having funerals and stuff but anyway I'm not going to get into it I just wanted you to know that that's why I've not picked the um the winner yet so I'm going to be doing that after this video now that I've reminded myself anyhow if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of Kelly's calendars all you have to do is comment below this video in the YouTube comments box and um you know, just tell me that you want to win. There's no particular phrase that I'm going to assign onto it. As long as you tell me that you do want to enter um, and you want to try and win one of the calendars, that's fine. Um, and then I'll pick a winner. Let's say, what are we on now? So we've got 12 days to Christmas. Let's do it the day before Christmas Eve then, the 23rd of December. Now, I am going to make this a worldwide uh, giveaway, but obviously if you are in the US or further afield, um, you're not going to get these in time for Christmas. Um, you probably won't even get them in time for New Year, to be honest, um, with the postage and shipping the way that it is around Christmas. So don't expect them until January if you are further afield, but do not let that stop you entering if you want to win. Uh, I will post it anywhere in the world. So two to give away and uh, yeah, just write me a comment. Tell me you want to enter. So I'd love to know as well what you think of the calendar. If you're as stoked about it as I am, if you love Kelly's work as much as I do. So don't just leave me a comment saying you want to win. Tell me what you think of the, the calendar and the illustrations and everything else. And don't forget to tune in, if you can, to Create and Craft on Monday. Uh, and that's it. So thank you so, so much for watching. Good luck with the competition. And I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.